Well, that's what she said. Hey, welcome back. Seemed like an appropriate thing to say for that comment. Anyway, this is Lance and I getting out for another rip. This was last weekend, and again, Colin didn't make it out because Colin's bike still laid up. But good news, the suspension parts are coming, and his bike should be good to go, I don't know, hopefully soon. Oh, I wish I'd have brought my funnier goggles. My chili goggles. That's me just mumbling on about wishing I'd have brought my tinted lenses, which I didn't, so my eyeballs are getting burned out of my head because it is very bright out here. Fuck, that's pretty, man. Yeah. That's super good. It's the best that's been all year. Kicking myself for not bringing my shaded goggles. It's bright. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Good warm ups. All right, enough with the chit chat, let's ride. Today we're gonna ride some areas that we haven't been on since the summer, and certainly you haven't seen them in any of my winter videos. So some new terrain for you guys to see. We're gonna have a good, uh, I don't know, I think we're out for a better part of an hour, uh, kind of just riding around, and the trails for the most part are good, except what I just said there is I went to dab my foot and got nothing but air because we're riding maybe a foot and a half above the snow, and Lance is about to figure that out. <laughs> She's hard to dive when there's nothing there, eh? Yeah. As I've said, you gotta stay on the path because the path is a good foot and a half of packed snow and then off to the sides is a good foot and a half of, well, light fluffy snow that you're just gonna sink into. seen most of this stuff in the summer. This is the loop that's pretty close to home that we like to rip on and Lance built a lot of this stuff. We came out and helped uh, intermittently on some of it and through the winter a lot of the Fat Tire Mountain Bike guys, like I've said before, keep it going and about this time of the year is when we can get on it because it's packed down hard enough. But today we're going to head over to YZ Kids Trail, although not on his trail specifically because none of that's been beaten down and we're going to ride a bit of McLeod Hill kind of area and that's going to be fun and as you can see right here the pace is picked up. And just in case you didn't believe me about how soft the snow is, watch this. <laughs> oh, it was slow motion. I wish you had got it on camera. Oh. It was so slow motion. All right, the big Honda hauled back onto the hard pack. We're ready to roll again. And uh, we're going to ride out this part here and then start shifting over to some of the terrain that you guys have not seen for a while. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
how the weather was in your area for this weekend, but here it was starting to warm up a little bit and get into just above zero, which means the snow is going to start to get a bit slushy. So we made a point to get out pretty early in the morning so we could take advantage of the overnight freeze and have some good hard pack to run on. And it was good. It was really good. This was a great day to get out and ride. Want to take this one for a burn? Sure. Go for a little rip, man. See what you think. So we swap up bikes here, and as soon as I plant my ass on this big cushy couch, I realize why Lance likes it so much. This bike is comfortable. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> well, based on Lance hooning around on my bike, I'm wondering if we'll see the TM all studded up next year. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This uh, little section of trail here hadn't seen a whole lot of traffic and I had visions of us trying to come back up it and breaking through this hard pack and digging trenches and spending a lot of time dragging bikes up the hill. But a little bit of a spoiler, we had no issues coming back up. Get up that hill. It's gotta be slow and I think just steady momentum. Don't not break traction. <laughs> because of my spoiler, you guys know how this is gonna go, and it goes really well. The bike just kind of sings its way right up to the top.
are going to make our way back, and I think I got one more ride, if if that, uh, where I might get out this weekend. We got something a little special kind of brewing. We're thinking about trying to make a run up Turtle Mountain. For those that know it, uh, it'll be a pretty epic trip if we can pull it off. And there's something else coming up, too. We're headed to Georgia, and we're going to spend a week down there riding around in Durham Town, or what used to be Durham Town, which is now Georgia Off-Road Adventures, I think. And one last thing, I'm going to change the name of this channel. So it says Canadian X690 or something to that effect, which was great because I'm Canadian and uh, I used to have an Xterra and the bike that I started out with was a 690, but it's time to change. And it's going to change to Struggle Bunny Racing, which is the brainchild of myself, Lance and Colin, but it's not an exclusive club. Everybody struggles at one time or another, and it's just all in fun because that's what this is to us. No one's going to pay us to race uh, or to ride for that matter, so anyone can be part of the club. So if you want to be part of Team Struggle Bunny, just come out and ride with us, and uh, if you struggle, you'll get the bunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah.